Hello everyone, this is Maha, your English instructor from Tutorial.pk. I hope you all are doing good and are in great spirits. In today's video lecture, we are going to discuss book exercise for unit number 4, Jiska Naam Hai From Mother With Love. Let's begin the discussion of book exercise by discussing questions related to reading comprehension first. So our first question is, how is theme of From Mother With Love a universal theme present in literature across all cultures? Answer. Mother's love, selflessness, and warmth is the same in all cultures. A mother of any culture would love her children the same selfless way. She would always act as a protection shield for her family and children. In story, there is depiction of Western family and how they go with the death of a family member. Death of a dear and near one will always be painful for other family members. And that's how it is for rest of the people of the world. Hence, the themes of mother's love and death is universal theme. Second question, comment on the plot of the story from Mother with Love. Answer, the plot of the story from Mother with Love is like any other typical story plot. It has all five constituents of a plot, that is exposition, rising action, climax, falling action, and resolution. Exposition is when the story starts. Rising action is when Minta's father tells her about the approaching death of her mother. Climax is when her father tells her that her mother doesn't know that she is going to die after three months. Falling action is when Minta opens her Christmas gift and get to know that her mother knew about her death all along. Resolution or denouement of the story is when Minta comes out of the room, sits in her mother's chair beside fireplace with apple in her hand. This showed that now she will take her mother's place and she is just like her mother. Third question. Identify the narrator or speaker of the story from Mother with Love. Answer. Narrator is the one who narrates the story or narration. There are three types of narrator. First person. In this point of view, a character, typically the protagonist but not always, is telling the story. You will notice a lot of I and me or we in first person narrations. Second person. In this point of view, the author uses a narrator to speak to the reader. You will notice a lot of you, your and yours in second person narration. Third person. In this point of view, an external narrator is telling the story. You will notice a lot of he, she, it or they in this form of narration. In this story from Mother with Love, a character is not describing the story nor a speaker is addressing the readers directly. Therefore, the narrator of the story is third person. Fourth question, analyze and comment on the character of Minta. Answer. Minta's character develops throughout the story. In the beginning of the story, she is depicted as a child spoiled with love and care. She is even shown to be stubborn about going to Mary Hill College. But when the situation demands, she molds herself according to the situation. As the story unfolds and she gets to know about her mother's condition, she becomes courageous than ever before. After the death of her mother, Minta's character develops into a very sensible, responsible and mature character who takes care of household and her father. Fifth question. What is the conflict in the story? How is it resolved? Answer. When Minta's father told her about her mother's impending death, he told her to hide it from her mother. They didn't want to make her mother sad in her last days. This was the conflict of the story. The conflict was resolved after the death of her mother when Minta opened a suitcase in which her mother left some gifts for her. After reading those letters and seeing those gifts, Minta said, You knew all the time. Her mother knew that she was going to die. Sixth question. Where does Minta's father take her to discuss her mother's illness? Answer. Minta's father took her to beach and told her that they would collect clams over there. Minta wanted to take Sally along, but her father refused and said we should go alone this time. There was a grim expression on her father's face. Seventh question. Which approach would you have preferred, deception or honesty, if you had to deal with similar circumstances like Minta's mother? Give reasons for your choice. Answer. Minta's mother hides the fact from her family that she knew of her illness. She continued to live everyday life as if nothing had happened. If I were to deal with a similar situation, I would prefer to behave like Minta's mother. In this way, I will not like to grieve my family beforehand. I would instead choose to leave behind pleasant memories for my family and enjoy every single moment of life. Eighth question. How did the vitamin pills become the symbol of responsibility? Answer. 
When Minta's mother was on her deathbed, she held Minta's hand tightly and told her to give vitamin pills to her father timely, as her father used to forget and was careless about the pills. After the death of her mother, Minta kept the pills on windowsill so that her father could see them and remember to take them. This showed that Minta was starting to take the responsibility of the household like her mother did. That's how vitamin pills became the symbol of responsibility. Ninth question, how did Minta change over the course of the story? Limit your answer to just five sentences. Answer. In the beginning of the story, she is depicted as a child spoiled with love and care. She is even shown to be stubborn about going to Maryhill College, but when the situation demands, she molds herself according to the situation. As the story unfolds and she gets to know about her mother's condition, she becomes courageous than ever before. After the death of her mother, Minta's character develops into a very sensible, responsible and mature character who takes care of household and her father. Tenth question. Why was the blue chair significant? Explain. Answer. Blue chair signifies responsibilities. When Minta sat in that chair with apple in her hand beside fireplace, it suggested that she is following in the steps of her mother now. She has taken the responsibility of the house like her mother did. Moreover, it also suggested that Minta was like her mother. We have come to last question, which is 11th question. Explain how Minta knows that her mother accepted death. Why is that knowledge comforting to her? Answer. One day, Minta's aunt comes to collect her mother's clothes to give them to church. Minta brings her mother's clothes from the closet. She sees two suitcases which her father had given to her mother on her birthday. She finds Christmas presents in the suitcases. On each gift, the name of the person has been written to whom it is to be given. Minta's mother used to do all Christmas shopping just a week before Christmas. This time, she has done this much before Christmas. This means that she knew that she might not have time to live till Christmas. This is how Minta realizes that her mother knew and was prepared for her death and that knowledge comforts her. Thank you.